This question is about factorial moments. Recall first of all that and as an example 5 factorial is equal to that number multiplied by all the integer values less than that number up to 1. Now look at this expression here. You've got the mean of x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 all the way to x minus k. Such an expression is called a factorial moment. Uh, recall that expected value of x is the first moment, expected value of x squared is the second moment and so on. So, it's some, so this thing is called a factorial moment. And in the case where x is a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, it has this very neat expression. So it's just lambda to the power raised by one power higher than whatever this value is here. And that's for values of k, integer values, non negative integer values, 0, 1, 2, no limit, dot, dot, dot. Let's look at an example, a couple of examples. Let's say when k is 0, then this expression says that mean of x is lambda. When k is 1, it says that this guy here is lambda squared. And I've added some notes in green here. I don't want to kind of uh, take away the focus of this uh, video. So if you want to read that, OK, what this, what this thing is actually saying. I'm going to do this proof in two ways because I don't want you to think that you know with proof you need ideas. They don't come from anywhere. It might take a few sheets of paper until you get the idea. Um, but uh, after a few sheets of paper, I've come up with a couple of ideas. Uh, not new ideas. These are ideas you'll see in books. Um, so method one, I'm going to do it using straightforward definition of expectation. So here in purple result, expected value of some function g of x is this expression, right? right uh, we could say that that's the definition for x discrete random variable. OK, so th my g function here is all this stuff. All right, so just right, substituting into this uh, expression, we have this times the probability mass function for Poisson with a parameter lambda, which is this. Now the next step, uh, I don't want to copy these two again, so I've just written them here, is really focusing on the summation. This x goes from 0 to infinity because, you know, for a Poisson ver uh, ver variable, it's Poisson, it takes value for 0, 1, 2, and so on. Well, a limit, that's why we're integrate, we're, we're summing, sorry, from 0 to infinity. But look, I've changed the summation from x is 0 beginning at k plus 1. Why is that? Well, it's because of, look at this here. You know, this function g of x, and hence this product, is 0 for all values of x less than or equal to k. Why? Well, let's take the first value, x is 0. 0 times 0 minus 1 times and so on. Well, that whole expression gx is 0, isn't it? Now, so that this whole expression will be 0 when x is 0. Then when x is 1, it will be 1 times, well, 1 minus 1 is 0. So we know automatically this is 0 again. So the first two terms is like 0, so it will be 0 plus 0. And you can see that this f kind of continues all the way till x takes the value k still be 0. So the first non-zero term will be when x is k plus 1. And that explains this. Now the next idea is, if you've done this question before where you've uh, proved the, the variance of a Poisson using this way, you'll see that we want to rewrite this so that we are summing back from 0 to infinity and then uh, pull out the answer and then you have a property mass function. Um, so that sums to 1. That's the idea. So let's look at it. We make the substitution because I want I don't want that k plus 1 now. I want it set to 0. How do I do that? Well let well I want it so that when x is k plus 1 we actually want it to be 0. So let's say y is equal to x minus that lower limit. Then when x is that lower limit k plus 1 well it'll be 0. This new variable will be 0. Uh, so think about that. So take this guy, rearrange it for x. So then just substitute into here. Into as in g of x. So when x, x is that, 
x minus 1 will be that, just adding 1 onto this, I mean subtracting 1 from this, sorry, x minus 1 will be subtract 1, subtract 1 on both sides. And so you see that x becomes this, x minus 1 becomes that, the final term x minus k becomes y plus 1. I suggest you just try it on a piece of paper, just following uh, as we're going along. Okay, so that's one thing, and then the other thing is, look, the x here has become that, and x factorial now is that factorial. So everything is now in terms of y. Well, no, and notation. I don't have to use y, but it's some, you know, some uh, transformation of x. Okay. Well, now I fact I take out. There's a common factor here, uh, being lambda k plus one. So I pull that out, here it is in blue, and then you're left with the sum of a probability mass function of a random variable that is y, where y is Poisson, with a rate parameter lambda. So by property of, a, and we recognize this PD, probability mass function is a Poisson. And the property of a probability mass function is that the sum of its calculated all over its possible values is 1. So that's a property. And so we're done. So what have I done here? Anyway, just written it down in notes in case that was too fast. Look, this lambda to this power is that. Okay, well, I've just used this result. Well, lambda k plus 1 does not depend on y, so it's like a common factor of all these terms, so it comes out of the summation sign. On the bottom here, the thing is that bottom here is cancelled with all these top terms, uh, some of the bottom terms y, because if we rewrite the bottom terms, this just means that all the numbers less than or equal to this number uh, up to zero, up to one, integer values that is, and you can see that the first few terms look that it will be that times this minus one and so on and so on and so on and so on. But I'm not going to write it all out up to one because I don't need to do that because I just want to see that this is the first you know few digits uh, integer values dropping one by one to the point y plus one. So it's dropping to y plus one. The next term will be y times y minus one times y minus two and so on. So in other words, it's just y factorial, but that's how I can just leave it. Uh, because this group here will cancel with the top. And then that leaves me with y factorial on the bottom. Okay. The fact that we've changed from x to y doesn't mean anything, because as I said, you, all you guys have to do is recognize that this is a probability mass function for a Poisson and it will be for a random variable y and y will be Poisson and then because it is a, a prob legitimate probability mass function the sum of all probability will be 1. Okay if you want to take a break take a break here's method 2 we're using the probability generating function let's call it capital G and it's a function of t. Right so how is it defined? It's defined as the expectation of this function t of the random variable x. Right, if you see my moment generating function problems, this is this is basically another type of generating function. Um, important thing is that this probability generating function is for is less is more restrictive than the moment generating function because it applies for x which are non-negative integer valued random variables. In other words, it takes the value 0, 1, 2 and so on. Okay, so then this, for our case, is that, just using this result that we used above already, the expectation of a function of a random variable. Now a key result is this, what they call the rth factorial moment of x, given by this expression, is computed by taking the rth derivative of your probability, your, your probability generating function and evaluating it at 1. Okay, so think to moment generating functions, it's similar except for moment generating functions compute it at t is 0 and then it will give you moments as opposed to factorial moments. Okay, well let's just let's just kind of compute it for this uh, question. So using a definition, the probability generating function is this thing here, which are in blue I've just shown you again, that is the probability mass function for a Poisson. I 
factor out e to the mi take out common factor e to the minus lambda because that does not depend on x. But this guys is this. Why? Because a this is one of the famous power series. This is e exponent to power a, right? For all a on the real line. Okay, that's just the result you see. You might have studied it when you're doing like Taylor, Taylor series. And so then that times that is this. So we have an expression for the probability generating function. Before I continue, because I know some of you might have to study this in your syllabus, I just want to come back up here. Often you get confusion with students where they say, well look, don't I, um, what, uh, do I sum for t from 0 to infinity or x? Well, it's x, you know, because that's the definition given up here. It's from x. Importantly, look, this probability generator function is a function of t, not x. So that's why I put t here. I haven't put x here. So my final answer must be in terms of t, not x. So look at my final answer. Yes, it's got t's in it. It has not got x, the random, that's a statistical random variable, just like the mathematical variable, if you like to think of it like that. And, you know, you could sketch this. It'll be t along the horizontal axis, this value of this function up the vertical, and it'll be like, you know, you know how it goes with an exponential. Now, let's um, actually make you think about how to use this thing before I solve the problem generally. So, if we, the, the th this result is actually a th theorem, you can prove this thing, I'm not going to do it in this video, is we take the first derivative of this fun of the probability generating function and evaluate it at 1, that will give us the mean of the random variable. Okay, so let's do it. So that's the function g, take the first derivative of the thing, well it's that, by differentiating differentiating using the chain rule and set t to 1 okay 1 minus 1 is 0 you get that e to the 0 is 1 so it's lambda well that's what we expect because we know that the mean of a Poisson variable with parameter lambda the mean of that is lambda okay uh, as we showed as I wrote as we wrote well as we wrote here uh, and then I did in the blue ink that's the expected value uh, at the second moment is is this guy and if we do it for r is 2 so I differentiate get hold I've done it once let's differentiate again okay so now I've got lambda squared this thing again by the chain rule set t to 1 and I get that okay so we want to do it now to answer the question and the question is this so I need to set R so that I've got K there alright this is just making it fit so if we set R to K plus 1 then you can see that will give me the final term here so I need to do it K plus 1 times differentiate G K plus 1 times it's that and set T to 1 and lo and behold I've got the answer uh, I'd like to leave something for you guys to think about because I said that when you're doing proofs you need tons of ideas and you might find, you know, it might be, you might be lucky and hit it straight off first time or you might need several goes. Look guys, I've given you like, here's a method that does not work and I want you to explain why. So look, listen, expected value of this product is equal to the expected value of the, pro the product of the expected value of each of those terms. Okay, and for Poisson, uh, we know that the expected value of mean, uh, expected value of x is lambda. Expected value of x minus one is well using the rules of the expectation operator. Take x through uh, it's a linear operator, so it's that minus one, which is lambda minus one. For example, see problem 64, and so on. So I could fill all these terms. Each of these terms will form lambda minus whatever that number is it's, it's been subtracted from. In other words, I have this on the right hand side, lambda, lambda minus one, lambda minus two, and so on, lambda minus k. Well, clearly guys, if you look at this thing, it's not lambda k plus one, is it? So I want to know, where's the error? Where's the error 
in this line you know just go through it line by line starting from top or bottom of bottom to the top um, so somewhere one or more places there's some uh, thing that breaks down so hint is um, problem 34 okay guys see what you come up with